General Motors said that they would get rid of the Chevy Bolt and the Bolt EUV. And then fans of GM, or and just fans of electric cars in general said, no, 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 don't get rid of it. It's a great car. General Motors, well, they queased. They said, okay, we won't get rid of it. But truthfully, they kind of are getting rid of it because the new version will be a completely different vehicle, say numerous reports with apparently inside knowledge of the vehicle. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. The Chevy Bolt and the Bolt EUV, surprisingly, are still on sale and they're very, very cheap, very, very affordable. They're most affordable electric cars you can buy in, in North America. Now, apparently, the new model will be quite different. It's believed, according to rumors, that the new Chevrolet Bolt won't be a Bolt at all. In fact, I mean, the Bolt itself is more of a like a hatchback, right? Well, the new version will have a different battery pack and have a different body style. General Motors CEO Mary Barra has confirmed that the next generation Bolt will target the same low price point and use LFP batteries. Now, General Motors have just revealed that the Equinox, remember they promised the Equinox would be 30,000 US dollars for the base version. Many times they said that, many times it's been canceled. It's now been cancelled. It's now $35,000 US dollars, but we don't know when the cheap version will be on sale. The cheapest version you can actually buy is $49,000. So we don't know how cheap this is going to be, but it actually could be approximately the price of the Bolt EUV today. And the reason I say that is because General Motors will use lithium iron phosphate batteries. They're much cheaper to manufacture than the Ultium batteries in the Bolt today and the Bolt EUV today. Well, actually, they're not Ultium batteries, but they're sort of an Ultium battery anyway. They're an NCA chemistry battery. So there's nickel and cobalt and lithium in those batteries. They're, they're more expensive than LFP batteries anyway. Now, where will GM actually get those cheap batteries from? Well, no one seems to know because there isn't anyone mass producing LFP battery cells in the United States right now. But that said, Goshan High Tech the Chinese company building two mega battery factories in the US, including in the Detroit area, may provide them with batteries, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to ramp up production for a number of years because they haven't even built their own factories yet. However, in the Q3 earnings call from GM, Mary Barra did say that a number of details were confirmed about the new Bolt EV, right? One of them is it will use LFP batteries. Not only are LFP batteries cheaper to produce, but GM has purchased the cells. So they've already made the purchase. The question is, who have they bought them from? Well, if they've already made the purchase, there's only really one company they could have, well, two, they could have bought them from either BYD or CATL. And that means the batteries will make the car not qualify for half of the tax incentives. So it will qualify for probably $3,750 US dollars of the $7,500 full incentive, uh, much the same way that Tesla Model 3 standard range and Model Y standard range plus the Mustang Mach-E with LFP won't qualify for the full incentive next year either. All of those cars are using LFP cells made in China. That said, Chevrolet is saying they're going to equip the new Bolt, which is likely to be more like the Bolt EUV, so more of a crossover SUV style with more range, faster charging, and additional features to make it just make it a better car. So that's a good thing. Additionally, GM have confirmed that the vehicle will have many of the components found in the Bolt EUV, which means, and will suggest to me at least, that if it's going to have components from the Bolt EUV but not from the Bolt, well, maybe it will just be a restyled version of the Bolt EUV with LFP battery cells. That's very possible. Now, clearly the focus for General Motors with this new version of the Bolt is to reduce costs. Cost reduction, cost reduction, cost reduction. That's the biggest number one priority here because General Motors are definitely losing money on the Bolt and the Bolt EUV. Now, if they use LFP cells, you won't get the full tax credit, but that won't really affect General Motors. It will affect them a little bit though, because you, manufacturers do actually get a credit for batteries. That said, it will still be cheaper for them to use LFP cells from a Chinese manufacturer than Ultium battery cells. So that will help them bring down the price. What else can they do to reduce the price? Well, 
I don't really know. I'm fascinated. But General Motors have said that this new version of the Bolt can reach the market at least two years sooner than predicted, meaning it's likely to be on sale in 2025. So General Motors have already purchased the cells. General Motors have confirmed its LFP. They've pretty much confirmed the body style will be like a small crossover SUV. But what we don't know is the price. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it's affordable. Because if it is, I think it's going to be a car worth considering. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Thank you for watching.